Hello, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, my husband and I went to Santa Fe to Meow Wolf to uh, see their Halloween celebration. And it was a lot of fun. They had a DJ. And he was more than just a DJ. He was playing the electric guitar and playing music and it was just, just so much fun. So we got to dance. <laughs> and we saw some more exhibits that we had missed the first time. The first time we went was actually way more busy. The parking lot yesterday was busy but it wasn't crowded in the actual museum so i don't know where they were <laughs> but it was cool because we were dressed up fun uh we were given this pillowcase which is so cool we're gonna hang it up as art i'm not gonna use it as pillowcase because my husband and i we both have dyed hair crazy colors and the dye comes off on our pillowcases so we don't want to ruin that but we had so much fun and while we were up there since there's not a lot of shops here in Roswell we went to World Market and a Barnes and Noble just barely opened up in Santa Fe in August so we went and checked that out it was totally a different vibe and experience than all the other Barnes and Nobles. The cafe was all open and even though it still served Starbucks, it just said cafe. It did not have Starbucks everywhere and it had a really nice open seating area. And then you walk through that and you come to, you know, like the bargain racks and stuff. The magazine racks were in the cafe area, which was really cool. It was just a really nice vibe. I didn't take a picture of the cafe area, but it was nice because there's a lot more seating in there and the store is just all open and it's just totally different. I read an article because I wanted to find out when it opened and it stated that it's the only uh, Barnes and Noble painted this specific color. We didn't notice the color. Uh, I wasn't on the lookout for that. I was just taking in just how different this Barnes and Noble was, but you know, they have the Halloween kiosks and I saw this deck. I haven't been watching a lot of tarot unboxings or videos lately. I've been really busy with, I started a Cozy Reads with Sarah book, YouTube channel, all about books. Plus I have my tarot and oracle for the soul, which I'll probably put this up on that as well. I'll post this on tarot and oracle for the soul and the uh, desert dream vlog. You know, some of my channels are gonna have overlap. So this print I picked up earlier in the season. My friend Jillian Grace is an amazing artist. Check her out on jilliangrace.r on Facebook or jillian.grace.art on Instagram. And you can see her really fun prints. And her partner, Dominic, does these cool wooden things. And then I got this a few years ago at Sweet Midnight. I love this. This is like one of my favorite pieces of jewelry of all time. I got this in Bisbee, Arizona. The woman who makes this and runs the company, Sweet Midnight, she is so cool. She has a ghost hunting company and Ah, she makes amazing clothes and jewelry and I just I really like her vibe but anyway I digress so I haven't watched any unboxings about Beetlejuice this deck I hope that it's good and not just a pip deck but we will find out this is by Insight Editions and it was published in 2024 so just from the back seeing these I was like oh okay the artwork looks really good. So my husband and I dressed up to go see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And we were the only people dressed up. We had people after the show coming up and wanting to take pictures with us. It was fun. Um, 
course, we dressed up as Lydia and Beetlejuice from the first movie. The second movie had like way too many plots and things going on. But you know what? It was fun. It was still a fun experience. So written by Casey Gilly, illustrated by Abigail Larson. I like the colors. Look at this. Love that. And then you have green and black all around this one. Oh, interesting. So it's not a book. I don't know if I like this. Tarot deck and guide. So you have introduction, welcome to the afterlife. All stripes, welcome here in your hands. You've got your very own handbook, but it's not for the recently deceased. It's for anyone curious about expanding their horizons with the world of tarot. Then it says there's some info about the major arcana. And then this is like different. This is like card stock. It's thicker where all of this is regular paper. So we have wands cups. Oh, can you guys see that? So they charged with after tax, it was $30, which is insane. My husband is selling a Lenormand deck that he hand painted and then created into a deck. And he's only selling his deck for like, I think $20, $25. And this is mass produced. And they want $30. I don't know. I just think it's really, really crazy. So we have summoning your deck. Easier to read than stereo instructions. Can you guys see that? The lighting is not that great, you guys. Sorry. The spreads. We have it's showtime and draw a door. And then we have the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice spread, which is interesting. You have, how am I viewing this problem? What information am I missing to have a fully informed point of view? What action should I avoid? What action should I take? What can I learn from this problem? How can I avoid this issue in the future? Sorry, was not even in. And then we have about the author and about the illustrator. I see that. All right, so with the major arcana, they actually give you a picture and then you have upright and reverse. And then, so it actually starts at the bottom. You have wands and information about the Minor Arcana, and then the Suit of Wands. All right, so I don't love this. This seems like a cheap way to create a book, and it's not convenient for if you're actually reading. I would probably never use this. I do like that it has the little thing here. So here are the backs. The cards are thick, but not too thick. I don't like super thick cards. All right, so we have the Fool. They do not know what they're getting into. Perfect for the Magician. The High Priestess is the handbook. That's awesome. The Empress is their caseworker or guide in the afterlife. The Emperor. The Hierophant. That's cool. The officiant for their almost wedding. All oh, the lovers. <laughs> 
chariot. Her crazy artwork. The strength. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. So yeah, they are pretty thick. I'm. This feels like two cards in one. I'm like, is there a card stuck to it? Death. Temperance, the devil, the bridge as the tower, perfect, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, The world. So even though there's different pictures on all of these, there's really not much symbolism. It's really just pictures, stills from the movie. So I think you would have to have a really good understanding of the Rider weight system because the cards are not going to give you much. If anything, symbolically for your subconscious mind to pick up on. I do think they picked really good scenes that do correspond with the card, which is really cool. Like this is perfect. I love, I love this. And this one, their happiness, their cup is overfloweth with love. <laughs> And I think that she's perfect for the Queen of Swords. And this card is very fitting as well.
so you can see how thick. I'm gonna... So at least they're not glossy and they're stick. You know, they're not sticking together. Like if they're glossy and thick, then they just stick together. I feel like or semi-glossy and thick. So they shuffle pretty good. I think that for me, I wouldn't use this deck in readings. Uh, I definitely would not. I don't like this at all. I'm glad that there's actually pictures, different pictures on each card. And some cards, they did a really good job of the characters or the scene. And so I did appreciate that. But I do think that this is definitely a cash grab. It definitely is not worth, after taxes, $30. Let's see what it says. I think it was, oh yeah, it says that it's $27.99. I think that's too high, and I know that they've increased the prices of mass market decks, just as they've raised the prices for everything. So, I don't know. I think that there's plenty of artists out there creating original art and have better decks. <laughs> An understanding of the modality. Do I regret spending $30 on this? Mm, a little bit. But as you can see, I do like Beetlejuice and it is Halloween. So, you know, I had an idea that, you know, that could happen. It's on me. Oh, and see, these are matte, so fingerprints. I don't know if you guys can see it have already are already showing up from the lotion that I put on. So these cards are not going to look pretty for long. So I think that this deck is definitely better for just looking and admiring the photos. Maybe if you're doing readings for yourself, um, it'd be okay. But yeah, I definitely would not use this deck to give readings for other people do you guys have you used this deck what do you think of it would you buy this deck the cards are borderline too thick for me too cardboardy but there is some bend so it's not super difficult and they're pretty smooth like they feel nice in my hands um i'm just really particular about my card stock uh, unfortunately, you don't usually get to feel the cards stock before you purchase a deck or see all the cards, but I am happy that it's not like a full pip deck because I do not like pip decks at all. All right. Thanks for watching y'all. See you next time. Bye.